friends, Thunder Ridge Homestead here. Um, I got to thinking this morning that I needed to do a little bit of an update on the landscaping project that we started last year. Um, as you guys know, in June of 2020, we had a storm happen and we had the neighbor's tree fall on our house and we had our three season porch smashed and we've been doing a lot of work since. I know I haven't been real good at updating and showing you all the projects, but I promise they're coming. Um, I've got the footage, I just need to get it edited. I need to get it put in a good story and let you guys see what happened. So um, that will come, I promise. But right now, I just wanted to show you our front yard. If you remember right, um, we had to have our front yard re -grade. We didn't have to have it, but we got our front yard regraded after the storm because once you had the porch off and everything else, we realized that we had a drainage issue and we had a lot of um, water that was actually coming back towards the house in the front on the north side of our house was not good. So we had to do some regrading to just get the water to go the right direction. It was just bald. It was scraped down. A lot of the topsoil had been taken away. There was really nothing to see except for Bob Do uh, bulldozer tracks, not bulldozer, bobcat tracks, and uh, yeah, it was a mess. So the plan was we were trying to put something on there just to stabilize the hill, and the first choice was we just had some, an old hay bale. Um, it was good hay, but it had gotten old. It had been rained on. It was really not good animal feed anymore for my sheep. So we decided to use that to put on the yard. And I showed you in the past video, and we will show you that video. But I spread the hay out and just spread it out real thin. About, I said it kind of looked like a bald man's comb over when I got done. At this point, I wanted to bring you down here on a closer level. I wanted to take you down in the thick of things, or shall I say the thin of things, and kind of show you what's going on with this ground where I'm covering it with the old hay. Um, like I said, I do buy good hay, so I'm not too worried about any kind of, you know, real noxious weeds like, you know, thistle or anything like that coming up. This was really good hay when it was new. What I'm doing is I'm taking my little handy dandy cultivator tool because it's lightweight and it's easy for me to do and I'm kind of going in and I'm kind of fluffing these little bits of hay and another thing I want to show you if you can see it I hope that you can move it right over here as we're moving this hay around if you can see, can you see all these seeds that are right there? but it was enough to like hold the ground when it rained and it was enough to you know give it just a little bit of covering and then that's all I did didn't do anything else to it all winter left everything just there left it left it left it um, late this year which is 2021 about May or early June I got some prairie grass seed and I planted the prairie grass seed out here and you know we've started having a little bit of that come up but what has happened to my front yard is amazing and what has happened to my front yard is nothing but that hay bale and I'm going to show you what it is so here we go. As you can see I'm right here by the front of the house and this is my front yard. I'm not going to show you a whole lot of the porch project. There it is. Just in case I haven't shown it to you before. I don't want it to be spoiled for you. But, as you guys can see, um, and also we have uh, 
the marking company was here today because we have more digging to go on and more projects to show you later. But I just wanted to walk you through this front yard this morning and let you see what the old rotten round bale has rot. And what this is, and we've mowed it twice now, but this is red clover. And we have a nice thick stand of it in here. There is some, not a lot, but some of the buffalo grass and prairie grasses that are germinating and coming up. Every now and then you see a little bit of it here and there. But predominantly what we have out here is red clover. And before the whole uh, landscaping and the bobcat guy came and scraped my soil off, um, there was really nothing out here but some nasty old fescue. You can see right here, we still have a little of that old hay behind. And like right here's a little of the hay, you can kind of see it in the ground. But all of this is from one round bale. And I think new, brand new, we paid $35 for it. It was a five by five round bale. Um, the sheep ate on it all that winter. It was just the leftovers rained on, smashed on, worthless. Um, but there's no way, even if I'd spent 50 bucks, I couldn't have gotten this kind of clover seed any other way. Um, over here is where they did not scrape as much. This is just the grass we had to start with down here. And I'm going to show you the difference. Okay. This is where they did not dig and scrape. And so it is just like some fescue, some uh, violets, some weeds, you know, nothing, nothing to speak of. But I just wanted you guys to see how much difference it made to have that, the hay bale rolled out in the front yard and just so like i said there's going to be a lot more um to come there's going to be a lot more updates on this homestead project and all of the work we've done in the last <laughs> year <laughs> but it has been a lot of just busy construction work and just rebuilding and repairing this old house that we live in so um I will see you guys in the next video. Remember, if you like this kind of thing, to share it with your friends. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, hit the thumbs up if you like it, because that really does help us. Thanks for your support over the years. And see y'all later. Bye-bye.